Thank you, Father John. As I mentioned, the Notre Dame Longitude Dial is a marriage of art, science, and religion. Three topics which arguably I know nothing about. So it was with some trepidation that, that I introduce the rest of our program. As Father John indicated, time has always played a significant role in our religion. And so, in a way, this location represents an ideal place for a longitude dial at a Catholic university and outside our main teaching science facility. There are many, many unique features to this dial that Will and others will speak about, but I want to mention a couple that are particularly meaningful to me. Like all baptismal fonts, the base of the dial is octagonal, representing the seven days of creation and the eighth day of resurrection. The arrows on the foundation around the dial and around the compass rose point to cities all around the world. Not just random cities, but cities that have a link with Notre Dame. I can remember an exciting morning when Will called me and he said, you know, I've been doing the directions. And he said, you're not going to believe this. He says, but the arrow pointing to the Vatican goes almost directly over the arrow pointing to Le Mans in France, the home of the Holy Cross congregation and the place from which Father Soren set out to found a university in the New World. So this dial provides this link between our faith, between the Congregation of Holy Cross and between science and engineering at Notre Dame. But it's not only a place that will measure time, it's a place where students and faculty and visitors will gather to discuss the dial, to talk about why it's here, to talk about what it means, and in that way will unify all of the Notre Dame family. The dial would not have been possible without Will Andrews, who is here today with his wife Kathy and his family. Will was born and educated in England, where he trained as a clockmaker and designer. Throughout his 30-year career in the history of time measurement, he served for many esteemed institutions, including Eton College, the Roy Old Royal Observatory, the National Maritime Museum, the Time Museum, and Harvard University. He's a contributor to many popular and scholarly journals. He's appeared on the BBC, ABC, CBS, NBC, and Public Broadcasting Corporation. We are deeply honored to have Will as the creator of the Longitudinal Dial. We thank him for his inspiration and his guidance. It's my pleasure now to ask Will to say a few words about the dial. <laughs>